Right, <laughs> I've been to St Piero Church, beautiful, absolutely beautiful little church, I loved it. I spent quite a lot of time in there, did a lot of photos, done a big video and outside as well, recording some of the old graves there. But it was a climb up. Now, <clears throat> that took four hours, so I'm not actually doing any... I wasn't planning to do Dungree Beacon. Uh, I'm not going on too many adventures either today because I've got a couple of big walks coming up over the next couple of days. Uh, just thought, though I walked up here earlier, I thought I'd, I was very out of breath a lot of it because it was very steep climb, especially further down. So I thought I'll just do, because I'm on the second card now, I'll just do... Um, a little bit of the walk that I did, but coming coming up. But I'm going down now. Now I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm making my way back to the bridge, but I'm not walking up Granny's ride because that's very steep on its own. That would take me right up there. I'm not saying I won't have any more climbing to do. I've got no idea. But if I feel like if I'm going to follow that stream, I'm going. I'm staying in a coom. So, rather than go all the way up there, which I could have done, there was other walks that could have been done out in the open moor. It is quite blustery. I thought, no, go back this familiar route and head for a place called Horner. Now, I've been through Horner Wood earlier and I did notice a lower track when I was climbing up high. So, I just think that's probably the one that I saw, which I could probably do now. But mind you, walking downhill, it's not as easy as going up in some ways. Is it, is it, you won't let you just slip, for example. But of course, coming up, it was up and up and up, not just a little stretch like that. I'm talking about a big up and up. This is a big, steep coombe, which I climbed up earlier. But I thought I'd just take a a little video of going down of the trees because they are so fantastic as I've told them. You know, this I haven't seen any bikers around here either. Yep. I don't think the bikers do too much damage actually exactly. Only when they start making these ramps. I think there's only tires going over it. It does keep the paths clear a bit. I'm not condoning it completely because it it's a different invasion, really. But I suppose we've got to move forward as long as they don't bring motorbikes up here and bloody quad bikes. Nothing would put me past some farmers, though. But look at that lovely scene, everyone. I'm just tacking this on the end because I couldn't actually video much of it coming up. I'm not going to do it for long, just a little bit. Because in a minute I'll be bending back round, going down to the stream, which I can already hear. It's beautiful and peaceful here, everyone. Apart from my voice. I'll go quiet for a minute. Then I'll turn off, okay?
right, another small video. I've got back much quicker than going up. I still haven't looked out what the name of this river is, but I will do. Going across the bridge, the footbridge. Where I was earlier, quite a few hours ago. But I'm not going up. I'm not going up um, up that way to Lee Hill. I'm going to follow towards Horner this way through a valley. Somebody coming. I don't care, I'm going to move on. So I've taken a few pictures. It's lovely, isn't it? So I thought I'd just do a little video following this stream down. I haven't got a clue out, but it's a mile and a half to a place called Horner. There is somebody coming. I don't know if they're going my way, but they are. Oh. So just a small video because we're on new territory. So I've got to record it. It's on new territory. See, there's the wood I came down through earlier. Came down through there. Oh, I tell my legs are just... It's because of... When you come down like that, it plays different muscles. There is a nice little view. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off in a minute. Just video this wide bit. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, over and out. All right, I can hear the water. It's a lovely big open space there. And you can see where this stream is, for some reason, not working at all. Now it could be that they've diverted it on purpose. But obviously when there's an overfill, it will get used. That's what I reckon, because it is quite damp looking. I still don't know what that name of this river is. It obviously goes out to sea. And uh, I don't know if it's a river axe, see? I, I wouldn't be surprised. I've probably got it on the map, I just can't be bothered to look. Well, I'm putting captions on later. When, I'm not, when I say axe, I mean X, E, X, E. Beautiful, isn't it? You can see children trying to do that, going across there. I'm not going to, I'd slip and go oh, damage yourself. Look at that though. This is Sheila in the beautiful Somerset countryside, everyone, on, on Exmoor. I'm staying at Porlock for a couple of days and I'm. Um, No internet, no computer, just the telly and the radio. I don't need anything else. I did try and upload some photos. It took all the photos, that laptop, but it's on, it's, it's on the way out. And I don't know if I'd ever get anything back either, by the way. It's already eaten um, videos. Uh, anything with six and seven gets um, disappears. So it happened a lot, another lot I'd done where six and seven disappeared. I did. I think I found it somewhere in a zipped folder somewhere. But it's a last resort. I won't be putting any more of that old, that other dit, that other card. None of that would be going on that computer. It's too risky. Might um, delete my stuff. Imagine that. I might have to try and get another memory card. It'd probably cost a tenner over here, 12, 16 quid, I suppose. I mean, in Tesco, you can get one for £7. That's why I'm, I'm trying to be a bit economical. At the same time, this is new territory. 
you know, some people can't spend any time looking unless they're local and they just literally come out with their dog. They know it all, you know. But some people, they shot off as people a minute ago. They just bombed. They saw me and they bombed it. I thought, what? Can I smell something? They, they actually up their step. Right? There's me ambling along. They were ambling. They didn't even stop to take any photos of the bridge or anything. But like I said, they might be local and don't do, don't need to. But they really, they bombed it. I wasn't going to join along with them. I'm quite happy on my own. I always have to say to people, oh, I hope you have a nice walk. And I, I, you know, I say, oh, you know, I'm taking photos and stuff. So nice to meet you and all that. I'm always polite. But like I said, I've got no idea what that name of that river is. But it will all go out. There's a river that rushes past Bosington Hill, for example. Look at that, another lovely spot, look. Beautiful, isn't it? So beautiful, I'm glad I chose well today, to be quite honest. I chose well. I said I never need to do Dunkery Beacon, that's not a mission of mine. A couple of years back, I would have to have done it as well. Do you know what I mean? But not, no, not now. There's no need, I've done it already. Over and out for a minute. 